Hey, what's up, y'all? You about to tune into my new video. It's a reaction to the 2024 Dodge Charger. People saying that muscle cars, there is no more muscle cars or they ruin muscle cars, whatever. So uh, tune in, man. Like, subscribe, comment. I had to keep my voice real low because my kids was asleep. But I had to get the video done then and there because I was getting ready to watch the video and I just had to get the reaction done. So, hey, leave a comment, like, make sure you subscribe. Love. Man, I don't ever think an electric car is going to be cool. It's still really early in the life cycle of electric vehicles and maybe we just don't know what's coming. Yeah, but they don't make sounds. They don't have any soul. They don't have a good transmission that makes you feel something. It just isn't there like a gasoline engine. Well, what if I told you maybe something could possibly meet in the middle or be better? Okay, let's definitely talk about this Charger Daytona. Before we move on with today's video, I just want to give a huge thanks to today's sponsor, Dave. If you're living paycheck to paycheck and struggling to make ends meet, it can be really stressful when unexpected expenses come up. And now Dave can get you out in a pinch when you really need it. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. That's more money to fill up your gas tank, buy a wedding gift, or just catch up on bills. Then you can finally tackle those expenses that have been stressing you out without any hiccups. And there's no interest and no credit check needed. And millions of people have already yeah, downloaded yeah, the Dave app to get the financial like relief they need with extra bread. cash. So if you're in a pinch and need some extra help, download Dave and think of it as a helping hand from future you. So download Dave today at Dave.com slash blue. That's Dave.com slash blue. Sign up for an extra cash account and get up to $500 Didn't want to do this video. instantly. For terms so, and conditions, so go to right. Dave.com slash legal. Instant transfer fees apply. Banking provided by I don't know when it's going to drop. DIC. And future you right, I'm will get, thank you. I'm going to get the recording wow, done tonight. Wow, it has tonight. been a Dodge filled so, fun. I just got back from the real bill night car by Dodge list. by doing a Hellcat Red Eye swap into a Dodge Magnum wagon. It was an insane experience. I'm still mentally recovering from it. And wow, what a wild ride. If you'd like me to do a update video on the Roadkill Nights experience of the actual race, please let me know. I just have to go through a nine hour live stream to find my run, so that'll take me a while. I'm about to get but a new if setup you want too, the short man, answer, so I stay tuned. So Start pushing. So well. video. But a pushing, good treat. Pushing seemed to happen as soon as I left Michigan. And that is this brand new EV concept by Dodge. Now, I heard some rumors down the grapevine of what this car might be. I heard that it's gonna be electric and it's gonna look kind of sort of like a Challenger, but kind of bring back the Charger roots. And at the same time, it might, be the the drive. Video, yeah. it might have a one-speed transmission. It might make noise. And lo and behold, pretty much all of those things came true. So today I'm going to break down the unveil, what my thoughts are on it, and what this means for the Hellcat. And also what this means for the future of electric vehicles in the sports car segment. Because, spoiler electric alert, this was a really the good Hellcat. unveil. <laughs> it seems like so, with the unveils the past a hard two swallow years, to even say a Tesla like can beat a Hellcat, really but like it, if you know what it is what it is. And basically this time around, you know it do? had me do the head nod. I was like, hmm, hmm, interesting, interesting. So first things first, they have this really dramatic like America moment saying the muscle car ain't going anywhere and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we just went all electric. Guilty as charged. And essentially, I think the unveiling was lit very well. You could see everything, and it really shows off the concept's front end, which is this super aggressive front end with the light bar at front and the emblem in the middle. And so, you know, it crawls out, does its thing, and then it revs? It's so weird to hear an electric vehicle make sound that isn't super manufactured, right? Of course, okay. To be fair, this is probably manufactured sound, but it doesn't oh, feel as manufactured. Crazy. And I'm gonna make big comparisons to one of my favorite competitors of this car very soon, so bear with me. So what did we learn from this unveil? Well, Dodge set out to create an electric vehicle that seems 
fun that seemed more for the people because with EVs the problem is is they're not that accessible to the general public even the Tesla Model 3 performance if you're a car person is probably about $60,000 that's not an average Joe car and it's held together with adhesives but we'll talk about that later so the car comes out it has the dramatic fog and everything and then what I noticed right off the bat it has a front spoiler aerodynamic kind of thing so if you look at the front grille the air goes through the grill, that goes over the hood and comes over. And then, you know, they give it literally a drive around. A lot of the times with these concepts and stuff like that, it just kind of sits in place and everybody kind of looks and goes, is it, is it time to clap yet? I think so. And basically they just let the car do its thing and speak for itself. And I have a lot of respect for that. Yes, it's a concept, but I have a feeling they're gonna build something pretty close to this. So let's get into it. First things first, let's get the elephant out of the room the sound. They call this car the Banshee model, and it's very appropriate because I was like, wait, how can an electric car be called a Banshee when Banshees scream? Anyway, you know what I mean? So he comes out, talks about the sound first, and the way that this patented sound mechanism works in this car, it's 126 decibels, which is not quiet whatsoever. Meanwhile, if you look at the competitors, it's all about being as quiet as possible, which I thought was an interesting approach. In the Porsche Taycan Turbo S, you get kind of this Jetson sound that actually helps you a lot when it comes to kind of knowing where you're at speed-wise. <laughs> He's George Jetson. And then going back to that front spoiler, he brings up an aero car from the 30s and says, hey, listen, since this car back then was aerodynamic for the time, it. about 100 years later, we've only improved about 25% when it comes to the charger wide body, which is still a great improvement, don't get me wrong, but after 100 years, you're like, huh, I kind of thought it would be a little bit more with wind tunnels and everything else. But he then says that this car is another 25% more aerodynamic. So basically a 50% increase from the 30s, which I thought was a really cool idea if they're able to truly achieve it. And that also will improve the range substantially. He then goes on about power. He says, we're not gonna give you the actual power numbers, but you and I both know it's gonna be absolutely bananas. He basically teased us with three power levels, but there's really nine power levels through direct connection. If you don't know what direct right, connection is, not. it's essentially a part supplier to kind of upgrade your car. Say you have a Hellcat and you wanna buy like axles, yeah, upgraded better. axles, a pulley system, all that kind of stuff. This you can get it through direct better. connection. It's actually how we got our Hellcat Red Eye engine to be shipped to the dealership. He teases us with the three initial ones, Choose but there's the actually nine. So the consumer is gonna be able to have access to nine different power levels going through direct connection. Basically, there's a slam mode. Slam mode, I'm guessing, means like, you know, slam back in your seat, like extremely fast acceleration. I guess, I don't know, speculation. Don't quote me on that. There's a drift mode, a drag mode, and even a donut mode. <laughs> So basically they're kind of really reinforcing that they're trying to keep the muscle core alive no matter what the rules are of the planet. And I do think that's a really cool idea. I think it creates creativity and you don't just accept defeat, right? That we all have to use the same one speed transmission because it's efficient. We all have to use the same battery packs. We all have to do the same things. The Mach-E for example, look, the Mach-E is a great car. To me, it's just not a Mustang, right? If it was just called yeah. Mach-E, be like, that's a really cool SUV by Ford. For their first true EV, that's great job. Me. I think it's a fantastic car. You know, the entire that's dash is a sound bar. It's a nice place to be. But since they named it the Mustang, it just kind of tainted the car's image, which is, you know, really unfortunate. This Dodge came out swinging going, we know who we are. We don't have an identity crisis. This is what we're trying to do. And I respect I that. The, the next thing is, is the show. transmission. Now, this is a big thing for charge. me. Like, the no. transmission is a multi-speed transmission. Now, how this works, don't ask me. <laughs> so the car I want to compare this car against is the Taycan Turbo S. Now, the Taycan Turbo S is probably a lot more money than this one will be. Hopefully, we don't know yet. But at the same time, it's all-wheel drive, has an 800-volt architecture, which the Dodge also has an 800-volt architecture. Now, if you're new to EV stuff, 
in layman's terms, it means it can charge faster and it can cool the batteries better. It's just a better system than the 400 volt architecture and everything else. The Tykan Turbo S, if you found the right charger, 15 minute charge, it's amazing. And that's literally like, you know, going to a gas station, grab a snack and a drink and then come back out and go on your way, you know, go on your way. But it has 800 volt architecture, a multi-speed transmission. The Taycan had a two-speed transmission. And it's one of the biggest reasons why the Taycan Turbo S is my favorite electric car in the market right now. I haven't driven this one, obviously, but we'll see. The fact that they took the charger body line back to the charger, you know, from the classic one to the new one, I think it's appropriate because it shows that, you know what, if we're gonna have a new era and try new things, let's took let's take a little bit of our past and kind of sprinkle it in there and also have a modern look to the front end. And I think they accomplished that as well. But if this car is priced under the Taycan Turbo S and can compete with say Tesla, dude, game over. I would never look at the Teslas again, right? I would be like, charger all day, that's what I'm going for. But like I said, I'm just excited that they're trying new things and it feels refreshing. The aerodynamics are obviously gonna help the range, but let's also talk about the all wheel drive system. So it's gonna have all wheel drive compared to rear wheel drive like the previous Hellcat. Now if you guys don't know, the Hellcat is officially going away as far as we know for now. And basically, I think there's only one more model year left. So it's kind of its last oorah with the uh, Durango Hellcat coming back in production for one year, which I know a lot of Durango Hellcat people are probably not happy about that. But you can still get the Chargers and the Challengers and the Jailbreak and stuff like that, which is like a new addition as well. So those are all on their last oorah. So I think it's a very good point of time for Dodge to do all this EV stuff now. That way they're like, hey, this is what we've been up to. This is what we're up against. A part of me also says that, I don't know if they'll use that exact charger body, but I won't be surprised if gasoline engines aren't gone forever. I do have a feeling that eventually there will be a gas version of a Dodge sports car in the next realm or the next model. So I don't think it's, too much hope lost, right? But I'm not gonna you know, just be like, yes, that's absolutely going to happen. So basically with the different power levels, they use a system called push to pass. And at first I was like, wait, do you just literally hit a button like DRS and F1 and you pass someone? <laughs> but it's interconnected with all the power level system and that's pretty much as far as I know. Basically what we've learned from this unveil, electric vehicle that makes legitimate sound. I thought it was strange that he kept saying exhaust system, but I guess there's really no better way to say it. Instead of an exhaust system, it's an emitter or something along those lines. It, Cause I don't think it's speakers per se. I still think it's the amplified electric motors. They just made them sound louder and like it has a soul. Kind of like the Mach-E race car, if you remember, or Bonkett Jr's below. drift car, that thing screams. Final thoughts, essentially, I think this was a good move by Dodge. And it's one of the unveils that I just wanna make it very clear. I swear I'm not saying all this stuff because I just finished a Dodge project. In fact, I feel like I needed a break from Dodge, no offense. I had a great time, but oh, well, that was that was a lot. That was a lot of work on that Magnum. I was like, okay, I'm gonna go back to normal. And then they just drop this on us. And I was like, you know what? I gotta talk about it. They, they're, they're just like, let's find a way to make an EV fun and hopefully a little bit more affordable to be fun. But I'm not gonna bite my tongue on that. We'll see that. Guys, what do you think about the new Charger Daytona SRT concept? Personally, I think it was a great idea. Let me know in the comment section below. And on that note, you think the electric charger has ruined muscle cars? Me? No. But do you? Comment down below, man. Like and subscribe. I had to do this video right now because I needed to watch this video. So, there y'all go. Uh, like I said, more content is on the way, man. So, hey, subscribe.